Hey, how you doing? So today I wanted to show you a cool node for Max example I made using Xeno Canto. The whole purpose of this example is to use their API, which is full of free bird sounds, and using their recording object that is from their JSON packet, create the proper download URL so I can actually download the files locally. So how do I do that? So first, I'm using this handler right here, XC, which stand, stands for Xeno Canto, which is for the API call. So as you can see here, I have max handler XC. And what it's taking in, as you can see here, a country and a page number. So I have that right here. I have the API country page number. Perfect. Next, I want to do a get request. And so I have the body variable, and I want to put all the data into that variable. And when it finishes, I want to parse it. Sp more specifically, I want to know how many recordings are there per page. So that will tell me how many files, essentially, I could download and which ones exist. So first, I want to get the file name. But that won't necessarily let me download the file. I found out that if I use the sonogram PNG um, file name, or not the file name, but the URL, I can split that up and combined with the file name, I can actually make the correct downloadable file. So that's what's going on here, is I get the file name, the sonogram med PNG, which you can see right there, and then I'm actually splitting up the med.png file, and then I'm actually combining the two, uh, the one I just split, aka the sonogram one, and the file name to create the correct download URL, and then I actually have to encode it because I found out using FFmpeg, it wasn't accepting it if it didn't exactly have um, the URL encoded properly. So that's what I'm doing here. So then that goes out to Max. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's start. And we're going to say Bulgaria. And this is what happens. It outputs all of these URLs, which are all the different URLs to different bird sounds. What I have noticed is some of them do download, some of them don't. There's issues with headers from uh, .mp3 files, but that's something I'm looking into. It most likely can be resolved. So next, what do I want to do with it? Well, I want to download it. So what I have to do is unpack and actually get this URL and then append it to the download handler because I made another function specifically for downloading. So what that does, it takes in the URL from Max, and then I'm, I'm making sure that I'm getting just .mp3 files. And what I want to do is then split those files and then create waves. So essentially I'm splitting it at the .mp3 and then adding .waves so I can make my file name for FFmpeg. Next, um, to continue, I'm taking, this actually should be wave, I'm taking that URL, or yeah, the URL I just uh, altered to dot wave, and then I'm splitting it at uploaded, because I realize that this is what I really need, but see, I can't really uh, predict this, since I don't have the database of that, so I'm splitting it logically here. Okay, next, I need to split it again, and knowing that the structure is like this, I just want to get rid of or split it at that backslash and then I'm good and that's what I do here. So you can see output file name, split URL, and it's the separator. Essentially I'm just splitting the string a bunch of times and then recompiling it. And as you can see here I'm going to use shell uh, shell.js to run an ffmpeg script. I've noticed I've had a few issues trying to run different ffmpeg libraries so I just stuck to what I know works. So I created um, this script, so I'm calling ffmpeg, and then input, and then the URL, which has been encoded, and then the output file name, which is now corrected to just be this, right here, with the dot wave. So this is an example. And then once it finishes, it says fin, and what that does is, that goes right here, it's routed, and then it updates the playlist object right here, and then I can play. Oop, supposed to have the birds right there. So I've already updated this list right here, so now let's find a file to download. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. And there you can see it just appeared, and this is what it sounds like. Cool. Well, I can do that again. I'm just going to clear it for safety, and we'll do... Oh, whoops, I just did Bulgaria. What am I doing? Let me clear it, do Spain, 
and we'll just click on these top ones and there we go here's it Okay, we're going to expand on the previous example, which was just showing you how to get bird sounds into Max using Xenocanto's API. So in this case, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm actually going to add the Valhalla Shimmer plugin here to add some reverb, and then I made this obnoxious randomization engine. I timed myself, I don't know if you ever do that, but I timed myself to make it, and it sounds pretty cool, so let's get some sounds. Oh, I gotta start things first. Let's get some sounds. And we'll start with Bulgaria. Mm. Here we go. Got one. Let's do Spain. We'll make sure to clear it. There we go. Here's another one. Do China again. Let's go farther down. Okay, and then Ethiopia. Here's another one. Oh, didn't. Oh, there we go. So there's four different samples right now. I can turn on this engine. I'm going to put this to about 500 to make it a little more dramatic. And now we're going to check it out. So let me scroll down. That's already on, and in a way we go.